Good afternoon, everybody. It is Monday, May 15th. This is Brad Show Live. My name is Brad Bernstein, and it is Friday. If there was ever a Friday that you want to have some fun, I think this is the Friday to have some fun because this coronavirus ain't no fun. And, and I was told never to use the word ain't. Ain't is not a word. But when it comes to coronavirus, I got to just say coronavirus ain't no fun. And being in quarantine is not fun. And being stuck home is not fun. So at least we got Brad Show Live pop-up quarantine edition starting exactly at 4.30 in the after. I mean, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, even though we're supposed to be starting at 4.30. And why don't we all have a Friday anyway? Let's have a Friday. Why not? We gotta, we gotta bring, we gotta bring some joy and and love to the world. Why not have a Friday? Let me say hello to Tamika Nelson, saying hey, y'all, Katie and Plunkett squad up. Jessica Limi, Katie and uh, saying hi, girl. What's up, Dion Watson? How are you, Deanna Moore, Anita Nelson, with a pre What's up, Brad squad? Question. Why don't I answer it? Why not? Says, hi, Uncle Brad. Please, is it possible USCIS can approve the I-130 and the I-45 at the same after four to five months of a Stokes interview? Yes, absolutely. It is very possible that they approve both at the same exact time. Marcel Reed, squad up. Marie Landell Fustuk saying, hey, Brad squad, looking in from Jamaica with a heart. Joan Grant, how are you? And uh, who else we have here? Monica Stone, squad up, Elizabeth Francis, uh, and Jasmine Caballero saying, Uncle Brad, happy Friday. Let's see what's happening on the squad on YouTube right now. We got Island Girl. Uh, she said she's waiting on her second interview, but her spouse died. Ah, before we were given a date. Should I submit his death certificate? What should I do? Yeah, um, the I-130 automatically converts to a spousal petition. Um, submit the death certificate. You ask that it be automatically automatically transferred to a widow petition. You will still have to prove the bona fides of the marriage. Um, one of the things they're going to ask is for the death certificate. They're going to want to see your name as the wife on it. Uh, they're going to want to see that you took a, um, a big lead in the um, ceremony uh, whether it's a burial or a service or whatever, uh, commemorating your husband's life. I am, my condolences, I'm very, very sorry. But yes, you can still get your green card. Alyssa Henry, squad up, back it up. Ricky saying good afternoon. Char or with also a pre-squad question. Because <laughs> I didn't even get through saying hello and people are already asking questions. Is it okay to head and extend my B1, B2 visa because of the COVID? Absolutely, you should be. K Wackery saying, squad up, gang. 29 Super C. Rupan Talukdar, how are you? And Rupan also with a pre saying hello to this squad question. Hi, my foreign spouse is waiting for an interview date from the National Visa Center. My question, she made her passport before she got married, so her passport still says single. Is it any effect on the spouse visa abroad? No, uh, she doesn't have to renew her passport or anything. It's perfectly fine. She got it well before she got it well before um, she uh, got married. And AJ, thank you very much. Looking sharp, Uncle Brad. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm actually... This is now vintage, this shirt. The shirt is J. Crew. And since J. Crew has gone bankrupt during coronavirus, and we don't think J. Crew will be coming back, this now shirt, the J. Crew shirt, becomes vintage J. Crew. Victoria Brea saying, Hi, Brad. How are you? Is it okay to apply for unemployment? I'm furloughed. I'm a conditional permanent resident. Yes, absolutely. Go apply for unemployment. Why shouldn't you qualify for it? All right, so right now we have 43 people watching on YouTube, 88 people watching on Facebook. It is Friday. We have six thumbs up on YouTube, 
maybe a few shares on Facebook, not many right now. I do want to remind everybody, if you are watching on YouTube, that you want to subscribe to our channel, Brad Show Live. Uh, yesterday, I said one of the best reasons to subscribe to our channel, Brad Show Live, is you get to hang out with the coolest group in town. But I was, I was wrong. I was wrong. I, I actually said the wrong thing. It is the coolest group in the world. Coolest group in the world, our Brad squad. You also get the best entertainment, the best immigration advice, the best up-to-the-date news and what's going on in the world, all by subscribing. Just because you subscribe doesn't mean anyone should think anything of you other than you're a really smart, intelligent person for wanting to follow Bradshaw Live. So don't be shy. Immigration or the Department of Homeland Security is not looking through our subscription lists. And you can certainly subscribe. And when you do subscribe, you get to you get to be part of the Brad Squad and you get notified every time we come on the air. Because sometimes we come on at 4.30, sometimes we come on at 5. Sometimes I pop up uh, at various hours. Our, our, our studio show before the pandemic with Yo-Yo and Nesquik, that was supposed to start at 5.30, but we went off closer to 6. So our times are all over the place a lot. So when you subscribe, you'll always be notified when we come on the air. And of course, on Facebook, we want you to follow and like. The same exact deal, Facebook people. We want you to follow and like. And why do you want to follow and like? Because then you will be also be notified when we come on the air. And uh, you can also be part of the Brad Squad, uh, but you first got to follow and like or subscribe. Then you got to join Brad Squad group on Facebook to be with the coolest group in the world, not in town, in the world. And all you got to do is ask Jilly Bean, who is the manager, the gatekeeper of the Brad Squad, to make sure that you're allowed in. But we're going to check to make sure that you are subscribed and following and liking us. Uh, let's see if anybody else has anything to say before we get into our schmooze. Uh, Asset Lindo, it's a summer day. Nicole Brown Bell saying good afternoon. Lisa Bling Rose, how are you? Sophia Gray, Brad, can a green card holder file, file for his parents in Jamaica? Unfortunately, no. Green card holder cannot. Melanie Abiola Aline, squad up by squaddies. Friday. And Tamika Nelson, Lisa is in the house. Dahlia McKenzie uh, saying hello. And we have anybody else that I missed? Maybe I missed Christy Consali, Laverne Parker with a question. Can you say when the embassy in Jamaica is going to open to the public for those that had an interview date and need to get a new date? Don't make me pull this out. I don't have the slightest idea when nobody knows yet. I don't even think Trump knows yet. All right. Maybe the magic eight ball will know later, but we don't know yet. My guess is sometime over the summer, but we don't know for sure. We don't know for sure. Uh, Monica Stone says, Brad, today is Friday, May 15th. What did I hear you say? I don't know. What, what date did I hear? We're going to talk about that, by the way, in a second. But it is Friday, May 15th. Maybe if I said a different date, my apologies to you. Uh, Anita Nelson also with a quick question before we get into our schmooze. She wants to know, hi, Uncle Brad. Uh, oh, we answered that. Is it possible for the USCIS to approve both? We answered all of that. So happy Friday, everybody. Let's get into something we like to call smoozing or schmoozing with Brad. <coughs> Excuse me. Something caught in my throat. Trust me. Don't worry. I'm fine. I'm not sick. Um... We always start off our pandemic quarantines with uh, statistics, what's going on in the world. According to the John Hopkins University, there is now over four and a half million coronavirus cases worldwide. 306,000 people have died. 1.62 million people have recovered. In the United States, it's over 1.43 million people have been diagnosed with coronavirus. Over 86,800 Americans have died. If you look at the uh, at that graph that we show, the uh, United States is on top with the most uh, confirmed coronavirus cases. Shockingly, second um, is Russia. 
and uh, Russia's second. Uh, and after that, it's the United Kingdom. So it's uh, U.S., Russia, U.K., leading the world in coronavirus. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Andrew Cuomo, he has extended enforcement mechanisms to stay at home orders until at least June 13th here in my state of New York. He did announce that central New York is now one of five regions eligible to begin reopening lower New York, which is Wester Westchester County, New York City, uh, the five boroughs in Long Island, they're still closed. But upper New York, Mohawk Valley, Southern Tier, Finger Lakes region, the North County region, all previously met criteria, they are reopening. Cuomo said that New York City still has three criteria to meet, while Long Island and Mid-Hudson Valley still have two as you remember yesterday, our mayor, Bill de Blasio, came out and he said that he feels confident that New York City will be able to open sometime in June. We just don't know when. Uh, governor also said he spoke with President Donald Trump about funding issues yesterday, including uh, Trump agreeing to expedite $3.9 billion in funding for the Metropolitan Transportation Authority. They are in charge of running our New York City subways. It is in fact the subways that is the heart of New York City. They run 24 hours a day. It's what makes the city never sleep because people are able to, to get around New York City 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, but unfortunately now they've been closing the New York City subways at midnight to clean them and disinfect them. And there's not a lot of people, there are not a lot of people riding the subways right now because it's been determined truthfully that you are more likely to get coronavirus from being in the subway from then walking in the street. So people are scared. Uh, and uh, our, our MTA employees, they're frontline workers who are getting sick. So hopefully we'll figure something out and hopefully this funding will go to figure something out. Also, as of Thursday, New York State was tracking 110 cases of the uh, inflammatory Kawasaki-like illness that's been affecting children and may be linked to the coronavirus. Cuomo said during his briefing, 16 other states and six European countries are also reporting cases. The state so far has lost three children to this Kawasaki illness, a five-year-old boy, a seven-year-old boy, and an 18-year-old girl. Well, for those who love the sun, there is some good news. Memorial Day is coming up and New York and New Jersey's beaches are going to be reopened for Memorial Day weekend, but with rules in place, New York governor said that only 50% capacity will be allowed on any New York beach. I don't know how they're going to enforce 50% capacity, but he did say if it gets above 50% capacity, they will be closing down the beaches. Meanwhile, this, is, this was pretty sad news for me because I like to travel um, and as a matter of fact, I'm separated from uh, uh, the lady that I'm dating, my girlfriend, for two years because she's stuck in Europe because of this whole travel ban. And, uh, and now uh, new models on how to reopen Europe travel, they don't have any room for us Americans. So there's going to be no European vacation for Americans for any time in the near future. The European Union is set to release new guidelines called Europe Needs a Break. And I guess it's Europe Needs a Break from the U.S. And the key to any successful reopening of Europe is based entirely uh, on their risk assessment of who's coming into Europe and who potentially could be sick and who could potentially be a carrier. And apparently, uh, Americans, because of our lax approach to the pandemic, they consider Americans a big risk. Americans will not be able to travel. Countries like Greece, Cyprus, and Israel, they worked out card agreements. So countries that are near each other that have similar outbreak situations, you'll be able to probably, this is how the world's gonna break up. You'll be able to travel within countries close to you that have similar outbreak situations with coronavirus, but you're not gonna be able to travel from a country with a big coronavirus outbreak to a country with a small coronavirus outbreak. Now, uh, nowhere in these plans, unfortunately, do Americans get to go to Europe. It means if you have an American passport, this is gonna be the first time 
in over 100 years since World War II that you may be unwelcome in certain countries. Now, if the European Union approves these corridor agreements between countries, international travelers from the United States and other countries that have not upheld safety standards on par with European standards, uh, they'll be offered vouchers for refunds uh, and reimbursements for trips they will be forced to cancel. But they will not, Americans will most likely, based on this article from the Daily Beast, not likely to be going to Europe anytime soon. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can never take a vacation anywhere. South America, I believe, is still going to be open. Perhaps the Caribbean will be open. Perhaps Mexico, perhaps Canada. We don't know yet. Now, industry analysts say it's going to take many years for tourism to approach anything close to the pre-pandemic levels where everybody was able to get on a plane and go to a moment's notice wherever they wanted to go. Um, meanwhile, Democratic proposals uh, for stimulus payments up to $6,000. Uh, these proposals are going to be voted on later today. Like the first round of payments approved in Congress in March, these new proposals calls for giving $1,200 to those earning up to $75,000 a year, $2,400 to couples without dependents. It would be far more generous to families with children providing $1,200 per dependent, up to three dependents. The Democratic bill is going to also extend the historic enhancement of unemployment benefits uh, included in March, that $600 uh, super turbo stimulus, $600 check that everyone's get that gets uh, right now. It's, it's, uh, supposed to end.